The governor in Syracuse today for a COVID briefing, but not before addressing that now viral video and saying there needs to do, uh, we need to do a better job in our community. She and so many others across the country now reacting to that cell phone video showing Syracuse police officers encountered with an eight-year-old boy. News Channel Lines, Iris St. Moran joining us now. Iris, what was she talking about specifically where she said we could improve? Well, Jeff and Christy, she says that there are a couple of areas and the governor says trust between the community and police needs to be built back. She says that trust and relationship is strained between police and black and brown communities in particular. Hochul says these communities of color have historically been treated differently. She said she's spoken with Syracuse Mayor Ben Walsh and she also says that when children have encounters with police, they need to be handled in a different way. Hochul says as a mother, that video was heart wrenching to watch. Uh, a child weeping, um, being you know, pulled by the police officers, uh, put in the back of a police car over a bag of potato chips. At least that's what the evidence says right now. It, you know, that's, that, that hits you right here. I mean, you know, we're all parents. Many of us are parents. And you can't help but imagine the fear in that child as he had to endure that experience. Yesterday, in a statement sent to media outlets, Syracuse police clarified the child was never put in handcuffs and was only placed in the back of a patrol car and taken home where officers met with his father. And we were told officers' actions and the footage from their body cameras are under review by the department. Jeff and Christy.